Pitty. Good morning, everyone. It is chilly today. It was 34 when I woke up. I think it's in the 40s now, but it sure feels cold. Uh, we have a neighborhood yard sale going on, so there's hardly anybody signed up. So we've seen three different yard sales so far. I haven't found anything. We'll see if we can see anything else, but we need to have breakfast, so we're gonna head home soon. So we are up here to start our nap, but since you last saw, we did have our breakfast. And when we got home, we actually, Sebastian and I checked out two more yard sales. Jax went out and played with the neighbors, but Sebastian got this book we're gonna read. Do you wanna go choose one more? So we have two. And he also got a whole set of Paw Patrol cars. We don't actually watch the show, but he likes puppies and he likes trucks. So he has those to play with. We got like five of those for $2. And he got a bulldozer toy that makes noise. We had to put some batteries in it. And that was a dollar. And we got Brother a book, which was I think 25 cents, but basically I think free because we got two books and the five cars for $3. So got a good deal on those because it was literally five minutes before the neighborhood, <clears throat> excuse me, yard sale was finishing. So yeah, sorry. I just ran up the stairs and I just ate a slice of pumpkin bread, so I'm all phlegmy. Anyway, I need to make this bed so we can do nap time. I brought Ziggy Piggy up with us. He loves his nap. And I'm sure Jax is gonna play a video game during nap time and my husband's gonna be mortaring the cement boards down to the floor, so he does not need a piggy in the way. And that's our update for now. I'm still working on my knitting. I brought that up, or maybe I might play Animal Crossing. I haven't checked on my towns in two days. So we'll just see, we'll see how he naps and what I end up feeling like doing. nap but we had a nice little nap and then I did some knitting my husband just finished mudding the plaster cement boards cement boards so he headed out to a soccer game with his friends and we are gonna have dinner where are we going we're going to Rubino's for yummy pasta <laughs> everyone. I'm going to say good night now. Uh, it's Saturday night and it's me and the kids. As you heard, my husband is out of the soccer game. So we went to dinner. We had some pasta at a little place we like right near the craft store. At the craft store, I got a roll of wide yellow ribbon to use as trim on Jackson's blue vest for his Halloween costume. What did you need, bud? Get that out. Okay, hold on. We have a snowmobile stuck here. We'll have to do some maneuvering to get it out. There we goes. <sighs> yeah, we went to the craft store and got that. Next door is a shoe store. I went in there and had Jax try on some winter boots. Uh, it's actually the same style that I have, and they're just in a kid's version. He's gotten them many years. I got a cheaper version, like I think last year, maybe the year before, and I ordered them online. They were totally the wrong size, like too big, and because they're cheap, he started walking on them 
crooked and they just fell apart and they hurt his feet and stuff. So he's been wearing sneakers all summer. We had to convert him and convince him that they were a good thing. But this year I'm gonna go back to getting him the good boots. I've got some credit on Amazon that just came in. So, but we tried them on in the shoe store to make sure we got the right size. He was in love. They only had the tall version like I have. <clears throat> I usually get him the, the shorter version. But he's like, no, I want the tall ones. They were $60 there. They had a big sale, a boot sale, but the sale is you buy one pair and get one 50% off, which is just no. I don't need two pairs. So yeah, I just checked on Amazon. They're $21 cheaper. And I think I have almost enough credits, so they're only gonna be a few bucks. Perfect, it was the exact size and height and color. He wanted the brown ones that he tried on. He just wanted everything exactly like he tried on, so. I'll be getting those for him and hopefully he doesn't ruin them right away. He does wear them down because he kind of shuffles his feet, but it typically takes a long time because these do have nice big soles. So I'm loving mine. I got mine last year before the winter started and so I'm on year two and they're like new. They're still so soft inside. Anyway, we did that. The kids wanted Froyo. So we went to Sweet Frog, which is a few more stores down. Please somebody tell me, is Sweet Frog okay to, to go to? Are they LGBTQ plus friendly? We don't go to Chick-fil-A anymore. Um, we have family. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. I don't know why. I just like ran up and down the stairs with the dog, I guess. I guess that would do it. But yeah, we have family that is in that grouping of LGBTQ plus and we are very, very invested in not supporting companies that are hurtful towards them. So, I don't know, am I making, you know what I mean, right? Uh, if there's an easy choice that's an alternative, I'm gonna take it, but I do know that Sweet Frog is religious. They have a big old thing on their t-shirt, fully rely on God, and that's fine. We will go there, we'll support them as long as they are loving about their religion. So, if you've heard anything about them supporting charities that do negative, or the LGBTQ plus community or anything negative in general, just let me know. I should do some research on my own. I always hear about Chick-fil-A, but I don't really hear about them, so hopefully they're good. But yeah, the, the boys got some Froyo. I didn't want any. I was craving Twizzlers. <laughs> Twizzlers are so junky, I know, but I had some Twizzlers when we got home. Uh, Sebastian watched a really weird YouTube video for kids, but he was loving it. They changed the words to a lot of popular kids' nursery rhymes to fit their little animations. And at one point, this little candy, like M&M candies kind of style, were going to a water glass and jumping in, and they come out with all their color gone and be like, oh no, where are my colored clothes? <laughs> I'll put a picture right here. Um, and it was like to Baba Black Sheep or something. It was like, five candies went into a water glass and it was like really awkward rhythm and didn't rhyme. And they got out and said, where are my blue colored clothes? Oh, goodness, goodness. He was mesmerized, but he was walking away singing the songs. And that leads us to now. Ziggy is up here. He's chomping on his little puppy bone right now. I'm gonna have to take it away from him before we get into bed because that is loud and I won't be watching him as closely. So normally we don't do bones in the crate, but he didn't even want to come up the stairs without his bone. Oh my goodness, I've been talking too long. I'm gonna say goodnight, that's all. Tomorrow I will give you an update on the bathroom remodel. It's looking good. We've got like two layers of floors put down, so my husband is rocking it. We are almost ready for tile. That is exciting. Okay, good night guys. I hope you're having a great weekend and we'll see you tomorrow.